This is the second video of three. The first video showed how to create your custom Holocoat file. This video will run through installing that file into your MagiCard support account. The final video will show how to download and install the final custom Holocoat file into your MagiCard printer. In this video I'll do two parts. This first section I'll do a very quick run through just to show you the main steps in uploading the file. The second part, which you can skip to with the timestamp shown on screen, will be a much more detailed overview of every step. My name's Luke, and I'm here already logged into my support account. So as you can see here, I've got two registered printers. There's two ways I can get to create a holocoat. I can come over to the left hand menu and create a new holocoat or I can hover over the printer or choose this one for this printer. You can agree to the terms and conditions and this is the section where we either choose from our library or we upload a custom holocoat design created from the first video into our library. So that's what I'll do. I know mine is a landscape design. If you had a portrait you need to switch this to portrait first and then upload your portrait design. But mine's landscape so I'm going to go to the upload custom holocoat. Just zoom you in a little bit closer. So I've got my file. This gives you the preview. So click upload and run in image checks. So the image upload is complete. So I'll save my design. This saves the design into my Holocoat library. My new design is already selected for me. I'll then click the next option. This is where you give the file a name, agree to the terms and order Holocoat. Okay, so that was the quick run through. I'll now go through the same steps in more detail and just explain a bit more about each part of the process. So I'll come back to my account home and hover over the printer and choose Create Holocoat. The Create Holocoat option will only appear for printers that are able to support that. So with the terms of use, we're basically saying here that the file will be produced exclusively for you, the person who submitted the authentic artwork, and it's not intended for illicit or unlawful use. And MagiCard is also a supporter of Project Genesius with the UK Metropolitan Police. This is a project between the printing industry and the authorities. The next section here is basically explaining that for custom holocoat to work, you need a die film with the overlay panel, denoted by the, the O in whichever film that you've got. If you have the overlay panel, then your custom holocoat will work. Custom Holocoat cannot be moved between different printers. The actual file that you receive at the end will be locked to your printer serial number. If you need that same file on another printer, then you'd have to submit again for that second printer. MagiCard might hold enough sales data to know that your Holocoat is payable or not. If we don't know that, then we'll pass the information down our partner channel. So whoever sold you the printer will be in touch to take the payment we don't actually take the payment directly at MagiCard. So you can submit this process. The vendor will contact you if it's payable. If we do hold enough information, then we'll process that. If part of your deal was including a Holocoat, we should know that information either initially or after chasing it up with the partner. If that's the case, then don't worry about the MRSP. If it is included in part of your deal, then it will be, and that will be sorted after you submit the file. For the latest prices, we advise you to check with your supplier. The link here just points back to hopefully the page that you found this video on. Um, but if you haven't yet created your file, then this link has all the best practices to create a good Holocoat file. You agree to the terms and continue. So in the design section, we have different render options over here on the right hand side. If your custom Holocoat file that you'll upload with the button here is portrait, you'll need to set this to portrait first and then upload your portrait oriented file. If it's landscape, then you can leave it set to landscape. You can do a few things 
by displaying a background, the contact chip and the hollow patch area just so that you can check with your design how it overlays over any card features that you might have. You can also perform a tile option to your design. With the fill option you could create whatever you want in your design. You don't have to use the tile options here. The section below is your holocoat library. So any holocoat you create on top of the four that we give you by default will go in the holocoat library here. So you can see the one uploaded in the first section of this video. The upload screen. In here, just a reminder about some of the dimensions and the aspect ratio and the colours. It should be black and white only. This is all documented on the, the previous video and the previous web page. The, the file types and the file size and a note also about the fine text. So you can choose a file. And then upload and run image checks. So what the image checks will do is just make sure that the a lot of the design guides have been followed so there's there's not a transparent layer there's only black or white pixels that the size of the file is correct and a whole host of similar things what the tool will do as well is if there's things that are simple to correct it will actually correct them and when this finishes it will give you a list of the steps that it processed so we can see on mine, the image was uploaded OK. It was the correct aspect, correct dimensions. It did change my color space from when I originally created it. The uniqueness check just makes sure that there's no match for this design. There are more checks in place. When the file goes to a human at MagicArd, they'll also perform similar checks and just to make sure the quality is OK. We have a contrast slider which adjusts the, the image contrast. It shouldn't really be an issue if you've stuck to the proper guidelines, but if you did upload something with a, a gradient rather than black or white, then the contrast slider might help where the previous tool was unable to get it exactly as you want. If you've designed it correctly first, then you won't need that step. So I'm happy with this one, so I'll save the design. And again, I could perform the tile option if I needed. And you'll see with this one, it looks a little bit strange because I've got my design just at the bottom. So it's best if you want a tile, you can create it in your design. So you can choose whichever design from your library you wish. So this could be selected for other printers if you have more than one printer. Well, then click the next option. The final step is simply the order screen where it just confirms the design and some notes that the, the holocoat file cannot be changed once it's submitted. Any holocoat design could still be rejected after this point if the checks that we follow up with mean it would be unprintable or poor quality or inappropriate or copies a trademark. So the final step, you need to just name the file and then confirm and order holocoat. This will then redirect back to your feature key library where you can see I've actually got two in here. The one we just ordered, you'll see we can preview that. But we don't have a download button. This is because the file is now at MagiCard for approval. When the file is approved at MagiCard, then you'll get the download button to get the file. So those are all the steps to submit the file into MagiCard from your MagiCard support account. There'll be emails that follow each step of that process. When your file is submitted, there'll be an email confirmation. If we pass the information through the partner channel so that the vendor of the printer can take payment from you for the file, then an email will confirm that. And an email will confirm finally when the Holoco is ready for download. And the next video in this series will follow up from there. So hopefully this has been useful. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. The second part, the, the video after this one will, in, the video following this one will show you how to uplo in, oh, upload your custom designed Holocoat file.